Hardy, wake up. Drums on ten. Hardy, wake up. Drums on ten. It's not General Midi. The drums are on six. Midi Channel's giving you nightmares too. Why not try the rechannelizer? So here it is, brand new in Gig Performer 5, the Rechannelizer. As you can see on screen, you've got a grid of 16 by 16. These are all your MIDI channel rerouting um, permutations. Big word for Mark. Mm. So by default, it's not rerouting or rechannelizing anything. You are going one to one. So channel one is going to channel one, channel two to channel two, and so on. If we clear all those by hitting shift and hitting that square, that completely wipes the matrix out and you can reroute your channels to your heart's content. So I've set up a very quick rack space with, in essence, three keyboards on the go. I have my Novation here, the Korg Mini Log over here, and the Phantom off screen. I'll show you that in a second. I can show you in, for instance, the Novation MIDI in block that I have all the other MIDI channels turned off and only channel one is letting any data through. So here we have an instance of contact. Now I've set this up in a multi and as you know if you're a contact user as soon as you set up a multi all the instruments get their own MIDI channel by default. Here we have an electric piano, some brass and a funky bass sound. Piano is on channel one, horns are on two and the bass is on three. Let's move this over to the side and open the rechannelizer. Now the Novation is sending on channel one so we're dealing with this horizontal row here for the Novation. The mini log is sending on channel two so we can control the Minilog on this horizontal row here. So it's very self-explanatory. If I, for instance, go one to one, I will hear the electric piano because that's receiving on channel one. Now, if I change that to channel two, which you can see on screen, it's telling you that we're rerouting one to channel two, we will get horn. And on three, we'll get bass. But it doesn't end there. You can have multiple channels at the same time. Let's hit one and two, and we're gonna get electric piano and saxophone at the same time. Awesomeness. Now, what about the mini log over here? That's acting as a second controller on channel two. And we are going from channel two to channel one. So when I play the mini log, we're gonna get electric piano. Same goes, switch it to channel two, I'll get saxophone horns. If I switch it to three and on channel one hit one to one, I will get bass on the mini log and electric piano on the innovation. Now where I think this will really come into its own is with you hybrid hardware guys. I'm going to just disconnect the rechannelizer from contact, close it down. Let's move this out of the way very quickly. And I'm just going to drag in the MIDI out block to my Phantom over here. So here we have then three boards, the Novation, the Korg and the Phantom. And in the middle of that, Gig Performer's Rechannelizer is organizing all your MIDI channels. Now, the Phantom obviously is bursting with multi-timbrality. And I've set up a whole bunch of random sounds so we can quickly go through them. I'm going to use the Novation to control the Phantom. Channel 1, Synth Brass. Say 3, I think we have Bass. 4, we have... 10, Drums. 16, I think is piano. So let's play some synth brass on the Novation. That's channel one. And we're gonna play the synth bass on the mini log. Let's change it to wah clav and piano. Now I've got another spare board handy, my trusty old Korg O1W. Now the O1W is set to channel four and I'm gonna make sure the MIDI in block is only bringing in stuff on channel four. There we go. Let's now hook that up to the rechannelizer. And now we can also use that to control anything. So let's go to this row here and we'll try input four, going to output six, which is an EP, I think. And on the Novation on channel one, we'll just go um, seven, which is a mute guitar. 
So I hope you can see how useful this little guy is, especially if you have a whole bunch of like hardware equipment. If you've got enough MIDI interfaces, bring everything into Gig Performer via the rechannelizer, and you can reroute all your MIDI signals just through one little matrix. So with all the other wonderful MIDI processing devices inside Gig Performer, I think you'll find the rechannelizer a superb extra handy spanner to have in your uh, toolkit. Wait a minute. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing it now. We're, um, in fact, they're watching. Watching. Yeah. Just about to tell them about the um, the 14-day free trial. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Uh, and, and the links are in the description. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. No, I've told you, you can't have my unicorn. Anyway, while you're on, the fundraising concert that we're doing for um, recovering main stage users... Um, uh, we all agreed, the bands agreed on MIDI channel 10 then for the drums, yeah? No, Marty, drums on channel 11. 